Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to go over a story that just kind of gives me the warm fuzzies in my heart and I think is a feel good story all around. And this one has to do with uh, this lovely dog that you see in the picture here. Now this is Cap. She is an English Springer Spaniel. And according to an article from ABC, I believe Australia, uh, she goes around with her owner and Cap, the water leak detecting dog, goes around and detects water leaks and saves about 80 Olympic sized swimming pools of lost water a year, really helping the conservation crisis that we have with fresh water. I said, the earth doesn't have a lot of fresh water and whatever we do have, we got to conserve. And so this dog is doing its part, which I thought is kind of interesting because like I said, this story hits on two major fronts. One is that you can train dogs to smell water leaks, which who knew, right? And the other part is they can not only do it, but they can do it very efficiently. It can be trained as the article mentions here. Now I said, I'll link the article below for uh, your reading pleasure. But how does Kep do this? How does Kep go around with her owner and do this? Well, it turns out water is treated with certain chemicals such as chlorine. Uh, and so Kep goes around and she goes around the areas and sniffs it out, basically. Basically, she, she, she sniffs for the chemicals and uh, the leaks. They create certain types of smells, vegetation, and other things around the areas where there is a leak. And like I said, Kep uh, goes around with her owner and she she just sniffs it out. And just whenever she finds water, she lets them know. And just said she, they just trace the mains um, around uh, rural Australia. And uh, if you know anything about water in the, in just anywhere else, like pipes are usually put in underground. They're kept there for decades and decades and decades. They're very rarely replaced. They're reused for years and they get leaks. I mean, like they just wear out, right? And so this dog goes around and just sniffs for them. And this is the interesting stat here, right here. A search of five kilometers of buried pipeline using traditional methods of acoustic detection could take weeks. Um, she clears that at least 10 times faster, he said, the owner, which is, I believe, Mr. Blair, uh, right here. And they have this lovely picture of themselves here, Andrew Blair and the water leak detecting dog, which is insane. Like, uh, not, not, <laughs> not the fact that he has a dog, but the fact that they've trained this dog to go out there. And as they said, about after eight months of training, kept her life in Perth in late 2018 to begin her working life. And this is a, this is a really interesting program that they have in Australia and that they should probably start using it in other parts of the world is like, we don't need advanced, hyper crazy acoustical systems, which I believe I have actually like had experience with some of these, but for other purposes, mostly just to trace like uh, underground uh, electrical cables. And I could, you know, I had similar devices that I could use to see if I can trace out pipes and water lines and all this other stuff. But if you have a dog with a good nose, who needs any of that? The dog just goes out and finds it. And which goes to shows that you don't need to have any sort of advanced, crazy uh, mechanisms or anything else like that. You just need to have a well-trained animal who's, you know, whose nose and biology is just more than any sort of advanced system that you can have. And they can help us. Like I said, dogs are, like they said, they're, they're man's, humanity's, everybody's best friend, right? Like they, they, they've been with us since the beginning. And I don't see a reason why you can't implement a program like this, you know, in the United States. As somebody who's worked out in rural America, I can tell you that the water leaks are not uncommon amongst our water systems. Um, and, and as a matter of fact, and like even when they get patched up, I said, I, I've seen some shoddy work of that uh, myself. So I can personally vouch the fact that, yeah, like water conservation is going to be hugely important. Um, in the years to come and I know that the infrastructure that we used to deliver water to our cities to our towns and everything like that is also very much aging I've seen that firsthand and I've never known that you could just use dogs to solve the uh, solve the water problems because said like conservation is one of the key and most important things that we can do and just the delivery of water is just hey, point A to point B get a dog to sniff out old lines or just any lines and just see if you can detect leaks this dog is 10 times better than any sort of device I can put on there. Yeah, like just get 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 a couple of folks, get them a dog and go out there. I mean, I, this this sounds like a dream job for some people. So it's going to be really interesting to see. But anyway, I'll link the article in the description below. Uh, if you liked it, uh, if you like the kind of articles and stories I cover on here, please give me a like. 
uh, and let me know what you think. Always good to have everybody here today. Anyway, cute dog, cute story. I love it. Every single part of it. Uh, kept right here. You're a hero. Thanks for contri contributing to our conservation efforts and saving 80 Olympic size swimming pools worth of water a year. That's you, you, you're a champ. You are a champ, Kep. Thank you for all you do. Uh, and a shout out to your owner as well. You guys are awesome. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. I'll talk to all of you later.